Today is December 19th, 2025. This is the day 3i Atlas passes Earth at its closest point. For months, this moment has been marked on calendars, plotted on graphs, and tracked across observatory schedules around the world. Not because anything dramatic is expected to happen in the sky, but because this is the single best opportunity humanity has to study this object in detail before it fades back into interstellar space. 3i Atlas is not from here. Its orbit confirms that clearly. It is unbound to the sun, moving on a hyperbolic trajectory that carries it straight through our solar system and back out again. It did not form near Earth. It did not originate in the Kuiper Belt or the Oort Cloud. It was born around another star, in another planetary system, under conditions we can only infer from the light and gas it releases now. Today matters because geometry matters, distance matters, signal strength matters. When an object is closer, measurements become sharper. Astrometry improves. Photometry tightens. Spectroscopy becomes more reliable. Subtle features that would normally be buried in noise can finally be separated from uncertainty. If there is anything unusual about this object, today is when that claim must stand up to real scrutiny. This is not a threat event. Closest approach still means millions of kilometers away. There is no impact risk, no atmospheric interaction, no danger to Earth. The significance of today is scientific, not catastrophic. It is about information. As of today, 3i Atlas is moving through the inner solar system at extreme speed, carrying momentum acquired long before it ever encountered our sun. That speed has been one of the first details to draw attention, not because high speeds are impossible in space, but because of how cleanly that speed has been maintained under strong gravitational influence. Normally, objects entering the sun's domain show measurable changes in motion. Their trajectories curve, their velocities shift, and their behavior becomes less stable. With 3i Atlas, the data has consistently shown smooth, steady motion that fits an unbound passage rather than capture or disruption. That alone already places this object into a rare category. True interstellar visitors are uncommon. We have only identified a small number so far, and each one teaches us something new about how planetary systems beyond our own form and evolve. What makes today especially valuable is that 3i Atlas is active. Unlike the first interstellar object detected in 2017, which appeared relatively inert, this object shows a coma and signs of outgassing. That activity allows scientists to probe its composition indirectly. Every molecule released into space carries information about temperature history, formation environment, and internal structure. By analyzing emitted and reflected light, researchers can identify gases, estimate production rates, and compare them to known comet populations in our own system. Several observations over the past weeks have already shown that this object does not behave exactly like a typical solar system comet. Activity was detected at large distances where water ice should remain frozen. That suggests the presence of more volatile compounds such as carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide, which can sublimate at much lower temperatures. This is not unheard of, but the steadiness and scale of the activity have pushed existing models close to their limits. Chemical signatures detected in the coma have added another layer of interest. Some measurements have indicated unexpected ratios between elements and compounds, hinting at formation conditions different from those that shaped most local comets. These results have been carefully checked, rechecked, and compared across instruments because chemistry is one of the most reliable fingerprints of origin. If confirmed, these signatures help build a picture of what other protoplanetary disks may look like elsewhere in the galaxy. Today's observations are focused on confirming, refining, or rejecting those early findings. This is where science becomes slow and disciplined. Claims do not become facts because they sound interesting. They become facts when independent observers, using different instruments at different locations, measure the same thing and arrive at the same conclusion. That principle matters more today than at any other point in this story. As closest approach occurs, Telescopes around the world are tracking brightness changes over time, mapping the structure of the coma, and looking for consistent tail features. Small variations are expected. Dust responds to solar radiation. Gas interacts with the solar wind. Viewing angles shift. All of that can change what the object looks like from night to night, or even hour to hour. 
The challenge is separating real physical behavior from geometry and perspective. This is why responsible observers avoid drawing conclusions from single images or isolated clips. A structure seen once may disappear in the next frame. A brightness dip may reflect changing phase angle, rather than intrinsic dimming. Only patterns that persist across time and location deserve serious attention. For most people watching today, 3 eye Atlas will not be visible with the naked eye. That is an important expectation to set. This is not a bright spectacle in the sky. It is a faint target, best observed with telescopes and, in many cases, imaging cameras. Through a telescope, it typically appears as a small, diffuse patch of light. Through long exposure imaging, more detail can be extracted, but it remains a scientific object rather than a visual showpiece. If you are attempting to observe it yourself, success depends on preparation rather than luck. Accurate coordinates are essential. Updated ephemerides matter. The object is moving, and even a small pointing error can mean missing it entirely. Confirmation comes from motion. Images taken minutes apart should show the object shifting against the background stars. If you are not observing directly, the most reliable way to follow the event is by comparing multiple independent observation feeds. Consistency across sources is the key indicator of reliability. When different observers report the same brightness trends, the same tail orientation, or the same positional data, confidence increases. When claims appear only once and never again, skepticism is warranted. As the day unfolds, you will likely see renewed discussion about unusual features. Some will focus on tail geometry, others on brightness behavior, others on chemistry. It is important to remember that interstellar objects are expected to differ from solar system comets in some respects. Different formation environments lead to different compositions, structures, and responses to sunlight. Unusual does not automatically mean artificial. It means unfamiliar. The correct approach is not to dismiss anomalies, but also not to exaggerate them. Each feature must be tested against known physical mechanisms. Many effects that appear strange at first glance can be explained by dust dynamics, volatile-driven outgassing, or viewing geometry once enough data is available. Institutional communication around events like this often feels slow. Space agencies do not comment in real time, and they rarely engage with speculation. Data is typically released through formal channels, sometimes long after public interest peaks. That gap between observation and explanation is where misinformation tends to grow. The best defense against that is patience and comparison, not assumption. What happens after today is just as important as what happens during it. Once closest approach passes, the object begins its exit. Distance increases. Signal weakens. Observations become more difficult. The public narrative will move on quickly. But the data collected today does not disappear. It becomes part of the scientific record. It will be analyzed, modeled, and compared for years. This is how progress happens. Not through dramatic moments alone, but through careful accumulation of evidence. 3i Atlas is valuable not because it confirms any particular theory, but because it expands the range of known possibilities. It forces models to stretch. It exposes gaps in understanding. It reminds us that our solar system is not a closed box, and that material from other stars can and does pass through our neighborhood. Today is rare, not because it is dangerous or mysterious, but because it is precise, a narrow window where geometry, timing, and technology align. A moment when humanity can directly study matter formed far beyond the sun's influence without leaving Earth. If you are watching today, you are participating in that moment. Whether through a telescope, a live feed, or data updates, you are witnessing a brief intersection between our world and another star system. As the hours pass, focus on what can be confirmed. Watch how measurements evolve. Pay attention to patterns that repeat. Be cautious with conclusions but open to surprises that survive scrutiny. By tomorrow, 3i Atlas will already be moving away. The sky will look the same to most people, but the record of today will remain, and what we learn from it will shape how we understand future visitors. This is not about spectacle. It is about observation. It is not about fear. It is about curiosity. And today, that curiosity has its best chance to be answered.